Okay, guys, so now here we are with the uh, PD400X with my GoXLR settings on it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the RA Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. And today we have not one, but two new audio and streaming products in the house from a company called May Ono. So they have sent over their BA90 boom arm. You guys know how we love boom arms around here. And even more interesting, their PD400X USB and XLR microphone that seems to be a direct competitor to something like the Shure MV7, but quite a bit cheaper. Now, we all know cheaper doesn't always mean better, but in this case, I think you guys are gonna be pleasantly surprised like I was. Just like how you'll see these prices are gonna be very amazing too from our sponsor. VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings and windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. Hopping right into it, let's first unbox the BA90 boom arm and check it out. Getting the box open, you have a few different parts from the boom arm that it comes with depending on the configuration you wanna go with for mounting your BA90 to your chosen surface. You get an optional cup, long screw and wing nut in the event that your desk already has a pre-drilled hole to mount an arm like this. Now, if you do not have this option, don't worry, you're still covered. The BA90 comes with an adjustable cylinder shaped mounting base that is very unique from other boom arms that I've reviewed before. You simply just need to slide the arm into it and actually tighten it using the base itself. No wing nuts or anything needed. There's also a little adjustment screw in the bottom of the base that allows you to tighten and loosen the tension of the arm to again, get it exactly how you want it. So this is part of the internal spring tension design of the arm that allows it to hold up some pretty freaking heavy microphones in uh, varying positions, whether you wanna do up, down, side, whatever you wanna do. Now onto the build of the boom arm. The arm has a multitude of adjustments allowing you to get the perfect fitment for your setup using the three joints on the arm. The head of the arm also has standard 3 8 inch and 5 8 inch threading, so that is basically compatible with all microphone and shock mounts out there. The arm is made of aluminum and hard ABS plastic and actually feels very sturdy, much more so than my cheaper arms that I've used before. And my personal favorite part, the cable management. The BA90 comes equipped with cable management channels built into the arm that I have to say is the best implementation of cable management on a boom arm that I've seen so far. So your cable just snaps right into the channel as you push it in and it just sits in the channel groove that is also cut into the arm for the actual cable itself. So this gives the whole setup a very clean look and keeps your mic set up from looking cluttered. But wait, we haven't even talked about the mic yet that I'm already showing in this shot. So let's go ahead and check that mic out. So the mic we're gonna talk about today is the PD400X. It is a broadcast style dynamic microphone with XLR and USB connectivity equipped with a cardioid polar pattern. So this mic is compatible with Windows, Mac, PS4, and PS5 via the USB mode. And using XLR mode, you just need to basically plug it into a mixer or your chosen XLR interface. Inside the box of the PD400X, you get a couple of accessories like your manual, a thick foam windscreen that can also help with those plosive noises, a base to mount the microphone on so that you can set it on a desk, although I don't really see how this thing can really reach your mouth, but uh, moving on. Also included is a long XLR cable and a USB-C to USB-A or C cable. And last but certainly not least is the PD400X microphone itself, which feels very hefty and solid right when you pick it up. And it gave me vibes of my Rode Pod mic when I first picked it up. Um, but it comes with its own mounting system already on it with a couple of screw points that allow you to loosen and tighten the microphone and position it where you want it. Again, 
very similar to the mic that I already own that's pretty freaking solid. Now let's quickly touch on the build and some specs of the mic. First off, like I said in the unboxing, the mic has a very similar build to this right here. Uh, yeah, it's very solid and it's, it's, it's I don't know, size-wise it's a little bit bigger, but very freaking close. Uh, the build is basically all metal and doesn't feel like many of the really cheap mics that I've reviewed in the past before either. With or without the addition of the BA90 boom arm, the setup of this mic is very simple. All you have to do is screw the mic and its support system into your chosen base or arm, which we're gonna be do doing today, uh, utilizing the threads that are required. So in my case, I'm using the default threads that came on the BA90, which match up perfectly with the threads on the PD400X. So from here, you can either then plug in the mic using the USB or using an XLR cable. And we're gonna be testing both here in the video moving forward. So really quick, you guys, you're gonna see me switch from me talking here with my usual boom mic to the actual microphone itself. And hopefully this cleanses your, you know, your ears a little bit so you actually can hear the difference between uh, maybe a couple of different microphones and really draw a conclusion whether this PD400X is something you might want. Now let's talk about some features of this mic. So first and foremost, it has a cardioid pickup pattern equipped with some excellent off-access noise suppression performance as I'm gonna show you right here. So uh, as you can see, testing, 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 testing. The best sound goes right into the top of the, the microphone where the capsule is right there. And it's the same with the pod mic that I've been using for, for years now. So I'm actually pretty used to this. Um, and you can tell that when you get nice and close to it, you'll get the more bassy sound out of your voice, which sounds a lot better. Next is a three-in-one multifunction compound knob, which makes it easy to turn and adjust the microphone gain, your headphone volume, and your monitor ratio. Uh, so basically all you gotta do is just press the knob in and turn the dial and it switches everything for you. So keep in mind that you do have to be using the mic in USB mode to be able to use this knob. Using this knob's functionality, you can also plug in headphones to the back of the mic. So like I said, you can monitor your audio levels while you're recording. Also on the back of the mic, there is a button that allows you to change a couple sound settings on the fly. Along with adjusting your sound, you can also quickly tap to mute yourself using the integrated touch to mute button right above the knob. Now, I do wish this button was a bit more tactile because it's very smooth and without looking at the LED, it's hard to tell whether you actually muted yourself or not unless you're monitoring yourself. Um, but either way, it does look very clean on the mic. I will give them that, you know, rather than adding another button. So now keep in mind, you don't have to use any of these buttons to adjust your settings if you don't want to because the PD400X actually takes advantage of Mayono's Mayono Link software. So let me show you guys that real quick. All right guys, so here we are using the PD400X in its uh, USB mode. So I know the XLR is connected to my mic right here, but it doesn't matter in OBS and everything like that. It is in USB mode right now and that is, you can tell on the levels right here on their software uh, because it will only work in USB mode. So, so this is basically the raw audio, um, the default setting that they usually have it at. Um, I basically have my headphone volume because I have my monitors in so I can hear myself. Uh, and my monitor mix, I just threw it in the middle so that way I could hear both um, and not really mess with it. But like I said, in the software, you can pretty much mess with all this kind of stuff. So all the stuff I showed you with the knobs, um, the mute button, and the, no the dial right here to change all your different mix options, you can do it from the software right here on the computer as well if you prefer to do that. Um, you can also change things like your tone. So right now, we are in the deep tone. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to the natural. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let me see if I can get a comparison here. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 And then let's go to the bright. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And so now I, I personally can definitely tell the difference there. And then there's also this legacy option. What does that sound like? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So these are basically like their stock EQs they give you. Uh, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these and uh, which one you like the best. Personally, I like the deep one uh, better because I like a little more bass in my voice um, and, and my mixes and whatnot. And then so you can also adjust the distance at which you normally talk in because depending on your situation and how you may have your uh, your mic set up, I personally, it's a dynamic mic. You're supposed to speak close into it. Um, I always have it pretty close to my mouth um, thanks, thanks to the... the the BA90 here, you can do that, uh, but also you can change it if you have to. So here, you've been listening to me with the near, um, and like you see, I always get pretty close to it. Um, mid, it says probably about like right here, six inches away. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. So right away, uh, I can hear more background noise, uh, and that's gonna happen the further you're away from the mic anyway, and then if you get closer, you can see that it's really, really loud, so you gotta like speak a little quieter. Um, and then here's the far setting. 
Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. And as you, again, you can, it'll introduce more background noise, but it still does a pretty dang good job of, uh, of, of backing that stuff out. So here, just take a listen. So of course here in the near, um, it's gonna, you know, suppress that background noise the most. So let's go ahead and take a look. That's the that's the standard options. Let's take a look at the advanced options real quick. So over here, you can see that again, it's pretty flat right now. I actually think uh, here let me put it to the flat and gain is at 100. Holy crap. No wonder I was I had so much gain. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and put that down to like 50 right now. Let's just kind of balance it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So uh, monitor mix is in the middle again, flat, and we have a uh, gain of 50, which I feel like in my levels right now in OBS it should be okay. Um, so again, you can adjust whatever you want right here, and then you can adjust the different profiles that we had uh, on the knob that I showed you here. So let's go ahead and try the first one, which I believe is the high pass filter. There we go. So adjust the high pass filter. That's what that sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And now let's go ahead and try the presence boost. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And then go ahead, let's put both of them on. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I personally think this sounds really good when you do that. It gives it a little, like my voice, a little more, you know, cut and a little more, um, I don't know, just again, presence. So which is, that's what's supposed to do. And then here you can adjust the gain. Testing, 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 testing. I, I think it only needs to be around 45 or 50 uh, for my voice right here since I'm so close to it. Um, and then down here, you can also throw a limiter on and a compressor. So uh, let's mess around with that. So here's the limiter. Um, turn that down. I think right now, as you do the limiter, it actually will, I think it's supposed to suppress some of that background noise. So right now, oh, you can actually adjust a lot of different things, the threshold, the attack, the release. So a lot of this stuff I already have um, with my own Go XLR and my XLR settings, but here you can do this um, in your actual with, with with a USB microphone, so it's pretty cool, you guys. Um, and the compressor, you can tell right here. Uh, compressor always makes your voice sounds sound quite a bit better. Um, you can mess around with that and and just do all sorts of different settings right here and make your voice sound different. So guys, b long story short, here there are a ton of different uh, you know options that you can do to make your voice sound like XLR quality with a USB microphone. So pretty freaking awesome. So now that we've gone to the software, let me go ahead and show you guys a quick comparison of what this mic sounds like in XLR mode versus my Rode pod mic, because this is also a dynamic mic. So it's a pretty fair comparison in my eyes because they both connect via XLR and uh, they both, I basically have to, you know, kind of speak into them the exact same way. And I use the same settings with my Go XLR mixer. All right. So here is my current setup here with the Rode pod mic that I have now. It is going into my Go XLR Mini, which is an audio interface, um, does all sorts of things. Um, but this is my actual settings that I have for the microphone, which you can see I tweaked a lot of stuff. So I do have a lot of settings going on to make this sound different. Um, and now the mic setup right here, it is set to dynamic because this is a dynamic mic. And I have the gain on 55 dB because when I say, hey, 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 hey. Hey, it only clips when I'm like really freaking loud. And uh, I think the Go XLR actually takes that away. So 55 sounds pretty good for this mic. So when we test the, um, the Mayono mic, we're going to go ahead and switch that over to. Okay, guys. So now here we are with the uh, PD400X with my Go XLR settings on it. So just to show you guys those settings, let me go ahead and pull it up really quick. Once again, just to prove it to you, same settings that I used with my pod mic. Nothing has changed, uh, same gain, everything um, through my interface. So nothing has changed at all. It's all, um, you know, all exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do our testing really quick. So testing, 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 one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So after all that testing, what can I take from this microphone and boom arm? First off, the boom arm is just solid. It works as intended and gives the user a bunch of flexibility in how they can set up their microphone. I really enjoy it on my setup. And also, their implementation of cable management, mwah, you know, just like the icing on the cake. So for me personally, I'll be keeping it on my desk for the time being. 
Now, what about the PD400X microphone? Well, I think that it's actually very good, especially for its price. Of course, I'm sure there are better microphones out there, but I really feel like the PD400X does such a good job at accurately representing my voice. And while using it on stream, I got nothing but positive reviews from you guys on how it sounded versus my pod mic that I typically stream with. You know, they were very comparable or a lot of people found the PD400X to be even better. So for me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and start using it in place of my Rode pod mic for a little while because I actually really enjoy the way it sounds. It seems like from my testing, you'll be getting a very good microphone at a very competitive price. And now if you're wondering about my Rode pod mic that I tested in the video, yes, this is cheaper, coming in at only $99.99, but this mic is XLR only. You don't have the USB option, so this will require you to purchase an additional XLR interface, which will usually be at least another, you know, $70 to $100. So the PD400X is actually still cheaper. So now the boom arm is priced at $75.99 right now, which I think is a pretty good price for what you're getting considering how like robust it's made and how a lot of you know higher end boom arms actually cost around that $100 price mark. So, but, so if you put those two together, you're looking at about 206 US dollars. Now, I don't know if they intended to do this, but they're basically offering the mic and the boom arm for less than just a Shure MV7 by itself. So in my eyes, I think it's a really good deal. And if you think so, both the mic and boom arm will be linked down in the below for you so you guys can go ahead and grab it. But that's gonna be it for me on this one, everybody. I hope you enjoyed you know, going on today's tech journey with me. And I gotta say, I think I may have found my new mic setup for the time being because I really enjoy the way it feels. You know, the boom arm moving it around and getting it in, my, in the place where I need it. And uh, I like the way it sounds in all of my recordings now. So as always, don't forget to like the video and hit that sub button with the notifications on so you don't miss my future content. So take care, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.